outer features of this part are finished, so now we can use a series of OptiRough operations to pocket out the internal areas. We have two different cutting tools for these operations, a short 8mm bullnose end mill that is capable of helical entries, and a long reach 12mm flat end mill that is not capable of helical entries. With tool holder collision checking, we can be sure that the 8mm tool is reaching as deep as it possibly can while keeping the tool holder safely away from the finished part geometry. We start with a simple OptiRough toolpath from the top plane. Here, we can specify a maximum depth for the tool to reach on this first operation. New from Mastercam 2020, we don't have to provide a minimum or maximum depth if we don't want to, which saves us from spending time on unnecessary steps. Holder checking is turned off by default. As you can see from this analyzed toolpath image, the tool holder collides with the back edge of the part. If we re-enter the toolpath parameters, toggle on tool holder collision checking, and add an additional clearance value, the tool motion is trimmed down to areas where there are no collisions. It's important to remember that collision checking is only performed on surfaces or solid faces that are selected as machining or avoidance geometry. By repeating this process in all six of the part's openings, we can clear out enough material to drop the larger tool into the part without a helical entry. And by creating stock models and rest roughing toolpaths, we can then rough out the material that we could not reach before.